I started getting involved with navigation about 12 years ago because I was primarily interested in the accuracy of the procedure. I wanted to place uh, my pedicle screws accurately in the spine to try to avoid nerve injury. But what I quickly uh, learned was that it would uh, prevent a lot of radiation to myself and to my staff and also to my patients that I could put these things in using image guidance without in a computer without having to radiate the patient and ourselves so much. The latest system that we're using now, the spine mat with Stryker, allows us to scan the patient as they are on the table and match it up with a, a previous study they may have gotten, a diagnostic study at the hospital. And we not only can see the anatomy clearer than we can from a simple scan inside the operating room, but we can use it to um, place our instrumentation because we've been able to plan ahead of time. Uh, we can make a model of the patient's spine and plan where we're going to put this stuff and exactly how big it is, how long it is, uh, where it goes, um, and what angle to put it in. Uh, and this is extremely helpful. The other thing is, and this is uh, very important to me, is that we can now plan exactly where to make the incision on the patient. We don't have to do a great big exposure of the patient's entire spine to get the lay of the land before we put something in. We can make a little tiny incision and have confidence that going at a certain angle will come right down on the exact anatomy we need to get the job done. And this is how we've been able to uh, cut down on the post-operative pain, cut down on the muscle dissection, and cut down on the scarring. And this really helps the patients recover faster, I think.